Hey everyone, Robert here coming at you with a real quick Sony Vegas tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at creating this effect. Let me go ahead and play that for you. And you can kind of see it's a double image video there. So this was actually requested by Music201035. So I'm going to start off with a new timeline, blank timeline, just to lead all the tracks there. And I'm going to right click and drag this down to the timeline and I only want to add the video across time. Now you may need to add the audio which is absolutely fine. I just only want the video in this case. So this is actually going to be the background video. So this is the video we're going to add some effects to. Let's go to event effects and let's go ahead and add a Sony uh, radio blur as well as a Sony, let's see, glint. Let's try those two. Now the glint may be too much, you can bring the threshold up just a bit, like that. And then we can go to the radial blur, and let's go to the preset, intense fixed radius. Okay, and let's just bring this down just a bit to around 611, looks okay. Now right now it's going to look messed up because this is the background portion. Now let's go into the event pan crop, and here in the event pan crop I actually have Maintain aspect ratio, yes, and uh, stretch to fill frame, yes. I have all these buttons pushed in. Just make sure you have the same. I'm actually going to lock the aspect ratio as well. And just kind of bring this down so it kind of zooms in on the image and the background image is a little bigger than the foreground image or video. All right, so now I'm ready to add the track that's on top of this. I'm just going to right click, bring this down over this video only across time. So here I have the new video clip. Now to this clip, all I want to do is go to the event pan crop, and then here I want to turn off lock aspect ratio, and just bring this down like this, as far as you want, probably around there. And then you can close out of that, preview it, and there you have the double image effect. So hopefully this helped. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.